A circle is a shape with all points of the same distance from the center. The radius of a circle is the distance from the center of a circle to any point on the circle. The distance across a circle through the center is called the diameter. If you place two radii end to end in a circle, you would have the same length as one diameter. Thus, the diameter of a circle is twice as long as the radius. This relationship is expressed in the following formula. D is equal to 2 multiplied by R. The distance around a circle is called the circumference. The length of the thread that winds around the circle exactly once gives out the circumference of the circle. It will be very difficult to find the distance around the track or any other circular object by measuring through string. Moreover, the measurement will not be accurate. So, we need some formula for this. Let us see if there is any relationship between the diameter and the circumference of the circle. If we measure the distance around a circle and divide it by the distance across the circle through the center, we will always come close to a particular value, depending upon the accuracy of our measurement. This value is approximately 3.141592 Five eight nine seven nine three two three eight four six. We use the Greek letter pi to represent this value. So, pi is the ratio of the circumference of a circle to the diameter. Generally, we take the value of pi as twenty two upon seven unless it's stated. The ratio of the circumference of the circle and its diameter is always constant. The result can be verified with the help of the experiment given. Draw three circles of different radii and measure the diameter of each of them. With the tape, measure the circumference of each circle and record the measure in a table. You will find that in each case, circumference oblique diameter comes out to be 3.14 approximately. Thus, for any circle, if we divide the circumference by the diameter, we get a value close to pi. This relationship is expressed in the following formula. C upon D is equal to pi where C is the circumference and D is the diameter. We can test this formula at home with a round dinner plate. If we measure the circumference and the diameter of the plate and then divide C by D, our quotient should come close to pi. Another way to write this formula is C is equal to pi dot d, where dot means multiply. Thus, the formula for finding circumference is circumference is equal to 2 multiplied by pi multiplied by radius is equal to pi multiplied by diameter, where the diameter or radius is already given. Circumference Diameter and radii are measured in linear units, such as inches and centimeters. A circle has many different radii and many different diameters, each passing through the center. A real-life example of a radius is the spoke of a bicycle wheel. Let's find the circumference of a circle. We will use pi is equal to 22 upon 7 
to simplify our calculations. Find the circumference of circle whose radius is 14 cm. Here, R is 14 cm. So, C will be C is equal to 2 pi R that is equal to 2 multiplied by 22 upon 7 multiplied by 14 that is equal to 88 centimeter. Now we will find the circumference of a circle whose diameter is 42 centimeter. We have diameter 42 centimeter. Therefore, radius will be 42 upon 2 that is equal to 21 centimeter. Hence, the circumference of the circle will be C is equal to 2 pi R that is equal to 2 multiplied by 22 upon 7 multiplied by 21 that is equal to 132 centimeter.